Hi, Mom. Do you want to tell us another little bit of story about your history from the couch again today? Well, yes, I think I could do that. Some people wanted you to tell a little bit about the story about you turning into a witch on Halloween. Can you tell us a little bit about how that got started? You you actually did that before you had me, so this would have been early 60s, right? Oh, yes, yes, I've done that for a long, long time. And uh, you want to hear about the what, the very first time? Mm -hmm. Well, I, I had it candy. I always bought a big sack of candy to give to the children because I... They knew that I played with them as they came around, and they liked that. So, But uh, when it was getting dark enough for them to start to come, I didn't turn any lights on. And the longer it went without, the more I decided I wasn't going to give them candy. But have you ever tried sitting home alone in the dark on Halloween night? Well, it's not much fun, so I needed something to do. I got up and I got out my vacuum cleaner and I started to vacuum. And as I started to vacuum, it gave me, not only gave me something to do, but it worked better than I thought because the sound of the vacuum kept the sound of the children outside where I couldn't hear them. And the more I vacuumed, the smaller my heart got. And I thought, my word, what's the matter with me? You bought candy. You're all ready for the children, and here you are, acting like it, like this. And you can't be this way. So you need to get out and go outside. But it was cold, and in order to go outside, I needed to wrap up warm. So I went downstairs, and I found a couple of my husband's big old army, heavy army pants that I put on. And I had his boots on and his overshoes on. And, and uh, and his coat. His heavy coat, coat. Mm -hmm. and I went out, went up, to, but I didn't look very Halloweeny. So I, as I went to go up, there was a Halloween hat, a witch's hat, witch's hat there. Mm -hmm. Yes, Halloween witch's hat, and I put that on my head, and I went out, sat on the, but but I didn't want to turn the lights on until the children came by. Uh -huh. So I took my flashlight with me, and I, it was small enough that I could put it in my the opening of my mouth. And uh, as I went to go by, I turned it on, and they screamed and ran. And what you see when you do this is you just see red uh, and with the skeleton head, uh, white bones there. So, and that's what they saw. And I, I said, oh, I'm sorry, come back. I'm not a bad witch, and I do have candy here for you. Come back, come back. You had that hidden in the in the bush at one side of the house, huh? like it was a yeah. magic candy bush. Yes, I did, and I <laughs> wished that that bush was a ma magical candy to give him some candy, and I'd reach in and bring the candy up out of the bush. And some, once during, sometimes during the day, the next day, I noticed the children out there trying to get candy from the magical candy bush. <laughs> After Halloween, there was no more candy, huh? There was no more magical candy Well, Mom, thanks Halloween. for sharing that wonderful story. We'll have you tell a little bit more about some of the witch stuff that you've done over the years uh, when you taught school and stuff, too. So, But tell everybody goodbye and thank you. Goodbye and thank you. <laughs>